Hey guys, Brian Beeler with you back in the Cincinnati Storage Review Lab. We're working on a project today that's not new exactly. This is a Synology DS620 Slim. We already reviewed it back in August and found it to be, for what it is, a really capable little unit. In fact, it's probably the smallest six bay NAS available. What we're doing today though is getting it prepped up for a new home. So while we're done with it, it's about to be given away on Reddit, on the Home Lab subreddit specifically, so you'll want to keep your eyes out for that. But this guy's going to go up for contest, we're going to give it away, and we're going to outfit it really nicely before we do. Now Seagate was nice enough to supply us with a bunch of these Iron Wolf SSDs. These are designed specifically for NAS uses. These are the 240 gig capacity drives. They go all the way up to 3.84, so sadly the winner won't be getting 4 terabytes, uh, 24 terabytes, but they're going to get a lot of flash capability in this little guy, even with the 240 gig drives. Now the great thing to remember about the Iron Wolf NAS SSDs from Seagate is that they're rated for this duty. They've got a one drive right per day endurance rating, which is well better than others in this category. And if we were going to use it just as a cache or as a, a tiering uh, solution, a lower endurance drive would be okay. But for this, we're going to make one big flash pool, use it for primary storage. So we want something that's a little more capable. So we're going to go ahead and get this loaded up. All right, so we're going to go ahead and load these 240 gig Iron Wolf SSDs in. And anytime you see us messing around in the lab with preloaded trays, that's a pretty good clue that the trays are not entirely toolless. And that's okay. These are, these are all right. In fact, I'll show you here in a minute as we get this number five in. The, uh, the tray actually has a little dimple in it right up here in the front that helps secure the drive and then there's just two screw holes on the one side. Now this being a storage review lab project, you should consider yourself lucky to get any screws in a drive tray, but this time we're going to get you one to help secure it and, and make sure it goes well in shipping. So we've spun the unit around just to give you a little peek at what's going on in the back of the uh, 620 Slim. Of course, we've got the, the power adapter spot. It's got two LAN ports. These can be used for failover. They can be lagged together. We've got the security port. We've got two USB ports here. Those are great for backup. So you could put a hard drive in there, maybe set it on top. That's what I like to do use it as a backup that you could then throw into a safe deposit box or wherever you want to keep your, your physical copy. One other thing that's kind of neat here is that if we just come from behind and pop this out, the fan has this little quick release uh, feature here where you can just dig it out. And it really provides great visibility into the back of the system for cleaning. This is running SSDs, of course, so it's going to be quiet already, but keeping the whole unit uh, clean, the fan clean will help. And if you ever have a fan failure or should ever want to change fans for whatever reason, just pop it out. The connector is easy to get to, which is uh, something we may not have highlighted in the initial review. So I'll go ahead and squeeze this guy back in, seat him down. Now the next thing we're going to do is turn him around, give it a Ethernet plug, give it power. We'll fire it up. And we're going to go ahead and pull up uh, DSM on the system, make sure everything's clean because we want whoever wins this to be a very happy camper. We found the 620 Slim despite the, the fact that the name here has dropped off our, our slimness. So we'll go ahead and log in. These are the basic credentials of admin and password. And here comes DSM. Everything's looking good. These drives were being used in the system already, so it's pretty happy. Um, let's just make sure all the drives have come back nicely. I would expect them to be. System's healthy, but we drop down here. One, two, three, four, five, six uh, SSDs, all happy and uh, available and ready to go. There's no volume, just for fun. We'll. Uh, Create one real quick here.
So we've used Synology Assistant to find the system. I'll go ahead and log in. Now it does say DS620. I'm not real sure why the Slim never makes it on these things, but uh, here we are nonetheless. So we log in. DSM's happy. System's good. Our names here, IP, uptime. 24 minutes is kind of a long time actually for things around the storage review lab. Let's just make sure all the drives are happy. They should be, but we'll double check. We don't want to send out a system that's uh, that's unhappy. Everything's green there. Let's drop down into the drives. Okay, so they're all initialized. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six Seagate Iron Wolf, uh, 240 gig SSDs ready to roll, 223.6 gig available each. If we go over here to storage pools, we can create one real quick just for fun. Eh, performance or flexibility. Let's go with performance. Around here we like RAID 6, but whoever wins this can come back and reconfigure this pretty easily. Auto selects all six drives, which is cool. Next. Data will be erased. There's no data anyway, so that's quite alright. It's going to confirm that it's going to pick up all six drives, RAID 6. And look at that, we'll get about 875 gig. So we'll apply that, let uh, those settings take place. And then we'll create a volume. We're not going to worry about that now. We'll let the system create the storage pool, get everything happy. The new home can, winner can come in here, create volumes, or do whatever they like to uh, to reset the system. It probably needs an update too since this one's been around in the lab for a little bit. Yep, one update. And DSM 622 just wants to go to update 4. We'll leave that for the uh, the winner to, to go through that process because it's just fun to get a new system in and start playing around with it and we know that new hardware feeling. So we're going to give this away soon on the uh, Home Lab subreddit. So make sure you're keeping an eye on that. Keep an eye on our social media. We'll let you know when it goes up. And sometime next week, somebody's going to be the proud owner with this thing likely in their hands.